right, time to move on from Music Town towards the next goal. There's only one dragon left, and after we meet that, we can finally become the Dragon Master. Then maybe we can equip all this junk in our inventory. Wouldn't that be nice? I've actually been thinking a bit about what really makes this sets this game apart from other RPGs of the era. Well, actually sets it apart from all RPGs ever. I'll talk about it a little bit more later. First, look at that. The shrine is actually visible on the map now that it rose. Isn't that a nice little detail? I like little touches like that. Okay. Let me just make sure chat and everything is visible to me. Okay. So, it is time to go east. Should I go back and... Nah, we'll just go. Alright. Purple Haze. You know, RPG Maker has a fog layer built into it. It's more of an SNES thing. It's actually a little bit odd to find it used so just like this in a PlayStation game. <laughs> you can do some clever stuff with a fog layer if you want to put in the effort. I've even seen it used to create dynamic lighting. Anyway. Octoplot. Ah, <sighs> so... Let me see. You're missing one spell. Hmm. Nash is missing one spell, at least. And that probably tells you about how far we've come. When we've got just about every spell in the game now. Yeah, that works. <clears throat> oh, wow, no, that one survived. Ah! Yeah. Nash has one spell, Mia has one spell. Kyle? I don't know if Kyle learns any spells in the game. He doesn't seem to. You're two spells short, though. Jessica's a slacker. Even Alex only has one move left, I think. I think. Alright. No. Not fast enough. You know, I think after a battle, there should be a few... Well, one of them just had its main stick up. I do like that they showcase what attack they're going to do through their sprite animations. There's so many, so many lovely little touches like that. Ah. <sighs> Alright, I guess I teased it. I guess I gotta talk about it. So, what sets Lunar apart from every other RPG? The villains, actually. Think about it. Whoa, 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 what the hell? I need to see that again. I'm sure we'll get a chance at this place. Holy shit, that was creepy. Hey there, Buster! <clears throat> so, think about it. How many times in... Let's go with seven. How many times in Final Fantasy VII do you actually see the villains? You see Sephiroth a fair number of times. You bump into him here and there. But actually not that many times. Shit, it's a dead end. Alright, let's go around the other way. Um, how many times do you run into Kefka and actually fight him or, you know, his forces? Like, directly in Final Fantasy VI. Good grief. 
even in the even after he has destroyed the world, like you don't encounter him even once until you go up directly against him at the end. Much as I think Chrono Trigger is fantastic, you don't have a lot of encounters with Lavos. All right, let's look at this. I just want to see the enemies, see what I'm up against here. So I know if I need to back off and do any preparations. Some shriekers, huh? Now let's compare that to Lunar here. And in in this game, they start introducing the Check villains almost as soon as you get off the boat. You start meeting the villains, although they haven't been revealed yet. I think the first one we encountered was the fortune teller. Anyway, we start encountering these villains. We have a little a little side quest uh, where we go down to the one place to deal with the false dragon master, and then we come back, and the villains reveal themselves, all except for Galleon. And from that, that's the first first they, they've. They've already been making themselves felt before they were even revealed, but that's the big reveal. Then we go, and Galleon reveals himself, and dis and takes out Quark. Now, in almost any other RPG, this would probably be where they step back, but no. No, immediately they take out Mel, okay? Then, as you're going for the dragons, they're always just one step behind you, or one step ahead of you. So far to this point, the villains have been literally everywhere we've gone. A constant, a constant force. And that's... That's unusual. I think that, more than anything else, is what sets this one apart. Check this oh good, they're not faster than Nash at least. I was expecting them to be faster than me because of previous encounters with wasps and flies. Okay, okay, here the wasps are not a big deal. Well, that's good. I mean, again, it depends on the game. Like, I wouldn't... I, I can't even imagine Chrono Trigger if Lavos attacked you, like, everywhere you went. His presence is felt in the in the game, even when you're not directly opposing him. But, uh, anyway. But yeah, I better go all out. Yeah, that'll probably do. I mean, imagine, imagine if they had... <laughs> they did remake Baldur's Gate, but they didn't do a terribly good job of it. Imagine if there had been a remake of Baldur's Gate, where Saravok got to have several, several characters that were his minions that were chasing you all over the land, causing you problems. Like, seriously, seriously hunting you named villains. I don't know if it would... I don't know if it would work as well in Baldur's Gate, honestly. But if that were a... If, if that had been an available thing, I'd have played it. <laughs> I'd have been like, hey, this is neat. <laughs> ah... Instead, you have, like, honestly, like, you have, what, one encounter with, you have, you have two encounters with Saravok before the end of the game? Saravok isn't a bad villain either, but, you know, compare that, John Irenicus somehow way more, way more stand out. You remember, you remember John Irenicus. <laughs> uh, 
and his sister, his vampire sister. Mm. Who wants a black brain bucket? There's also the sense of humor. <laughs> Obviously, this is a Kyle thing, right? There you go. Alright, I'm starting to get a little lost in this one. We knew this one was going to be a maze when we came in. Do I have enough to really get through this place, or do I actually have to go and buy things? Check this out. Mm. I was like, oh, the enemies are weak. I can just power through this. Yeah. Are they though? <laughs> I'm burning a lot of MP right now. I think it also helps that it's not it's not uh, galleon every single place you go either, but it's a variety of his minions. I think I think that's also important. All right, Nash, you're running low on MP. You just don't have the stamina that Mia does. Oh, hey, look, another one of those tails. This one's different. This one lets me move farther. Oh, how interesting. Hmm. I think Kyle should have this one. Kyle tends to melee more than anyone else after all. Alright, we're gonna try to minimize our use of magic this time. Kyle should be able to run across the entire map and still hit something now. Could be useful. Summon elemental power. Equipment of the next town. Alright, what are you gonna do with range? Run away better? I don't know, I guess it's a good thing. <laughs> you don't really need it though. And I've saved up a massive amount of money now. Oh, oh crap. Am I going around in circles or am I going the. To... I don't know. Well, we get to see this creepy thing again. Okay, so this Check thing this is infested with a whole bunch of red parasites that have taken over its body. Is, is that what it is? Is that 
that was going on? Kind of, kind of creepy, kind of gross. I don't like them. There you go, Nash. No, no, wait, wait, sorry. Mia stood up. This was a Mia item. I just assumed Nash. Oh, jeez. I mean, agility is a really big deal, but do you really want to give up some of your magic power here? Ah, 20 agility. Just going faster is worth a ton to me, though. I'm a little iffy on this tra oh, dog on it. I'm a little iffy on this transaction, but whatever. All right, you guys are weak. To wow, she's going first. Between the tail and the new wand, she's gone from last to first. That's very good. Also, uh, I probably should have done this sooner. I'm just asking for trouble hiking around without full health. Alright. Speaking about the villains being everywhere... You filthy wench! Come here and let me wrap, your, wrap my hands around your scrawny neck. The only physical contact you'll have with me, little man, is when I stomp on the head of your cold, rotting corpse. Your search for the Black Dragon ends here, as does your pathetic attempt at a life. Okay. Yeah. Alright. You're on the left side for what? Okay, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Vigor? Oh, dear. My poor back row. I'm gonna put defense on you first. <sighs> they need to buff themselves, but alright. Go get in their face. Alright. We have a lot of buffs to put down, I think. There you go, Alex. Alfina, lend me your power! I'm so glad I hear before this fight. <laughs> oh. oh no, he's partially petrified. Now more of him is petrified. Uh, we should probably do something about that, guys. Do you think any of this is even gonna work? Probably not. I wish I'd restored my MP. Oh, crap. I need her. All right. <sighs> I 
keep these around for a reason. I need to up one more time. Perhaps I'm being greedy and should just start attacking, but... Pummel it! Yeah! Wow! 400 from that! Oh, oh! Uh oh! Well, uh, okay then. You can attack us with a thousand monsters and it wouldn't matter, Zenobia! Th those weren't monsters, those were people? I'll kill all of them and then I'll kill you! And don't bother begging for mercy because you'll get none! Wait, Jessica, when did we become the villains? That's a villain speech right there. You know, I was planning to turn you into a statue, like your pathetic father. But now, I'll allow the vile drive to desecrate your tattered remains instead. Oh, okay. More? <clears throat> well. Shit. I don't have any MP. Um. Alright, I'm just gonna eat this. Um. Throw this at them. Okay, that should probably be enough. Let me see if I can just bop one of these right away. Why are you still getting back attacked? Haven't you guys organized yet? Yeah, you felt that, didn't you? Yeah. Gonna petrify him? Nope. <clears throat> Alright. It's over. Give him another starlight. The battle's gonna end before most of this triggers, but I'm trying. Can't keep this up much longer, Jess. No, I can keep it around for a while. One more round and that worry will not even be a relevant concern anymore. No, I just spent a bunch of starlights. Let me keep fighting them. Enjoy what remains of your life, Alex. For it won't be spared next time. Would you like to join the party? <laughs> Bathe the vile tribe with arrows from such a great distance? Do any of you realize how incredible that is? While on horseback, mounted archery. <laughs> but who are they, and why'd they leave without saying a word to us? <clears throat> Did I get everything out of this valley? I'm just gonna assume I did. I don't wanna run around looking down every possible track here. All right! We made it. Welcome to our general store, where service is a slogan. What, what, what does that mean? Oh, 
100 buck protection rings. Here, have this crystal bracelet. Pity you can't sell star lights here. are you guys wearing? You're not even wearing a ring, but you're all filled up. Huh. Oh well. Welcome to Tamur! As the official village greeter, let me be the first to say how do and how are you? So what brings you to our wonderful corner of the world? Tour is the best that nature has to offer. Hunting, camping, hiking, and monster avoidance classes. Welcome to Timur Motel. Can I interest... What's that? You're not looking for a room? No, we don't sleep. We just walk up and rub our face on a statue and we get fully restored. No one travels here since the vile tribe started acting up. I think I've changed this place from a motel to a bowling alley. What? What's bowling? No, you're the one who always breaks the fourth wall. You guys have two beds. And there's two of you. Where do your guests sleep? Do we just curl up on the floor over here? Well, hi, what brings you to Tamar? I traveled here after graduating from the Magic Guild. I just needed to get away from the big floating city for a while and have fun exploring the world. I'm amazed this little town has a hotel. I thought I'd be setting up camp under a tree or something. Okay, so you have you already have one guest. So, so the five of us would share the other bed? We just sleep in a heap? <laughs> Hey, new customers! You're gonna love it here! Timur's clean water makes for some great liquor! Are, are you saying you're watering down the booze? Uh, do you want a sip uh, to taste what I'm talking about? It's against my personal belief system to turn down free booze! Okay, Galleon, you figured out how to kill Kyle. Just poison his booze. So I am honor bound to accept your invitation, kind barkeep. I don't think so. You've never been able to use the words one and beer in the same sentence. It's been my experience that any city with clean water and great liquor is full of beautiful women. Yes, and they get more beautiful with each drink, right, Kyle dear? Yeah, yeah, Tamara's cry. Yeah, close to nature. Tamara's perfect. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't move here for any of that. I moved here because the liquor is so good it makes my spine quiver. If your spine is quivering, you should immediately stop drinking whatever it is you're drinking. Is this, if this booze was any butter, I might become a stinking drunk. Oh, wait, I already am. I was coming after work to ride down to the cold brew and a tasty drumstick. Athena should have quit after she made beer and chicken because nothing else could be more perfect. What else would I do? Go home and spend time with my wife? I'm thankful to Athena for blessing me with such good friends and such a good job. As for my wife, well, I'm sure even the goddess makes mistakes. Ah, yes. The much spoken of boomer humor. The forest that lies south of Timur is called the Forest of Illusion. It's always blanketed in a thick fog. When I was younger, I'd go there with my boyfriend to make out because we wouldn't get caught. Of course, that was before all the monsters appeared. Fascinating, the forest. I mean, it sounds unusual, even magical. Is that why you want to go there with me and the rest of us? Most of the travelers who try to go through the Forest of Illusion come back in a hurry, but a few of them never come back. Maybe they're lost. Or worse. Alright, and this town in the middle of nowhere will of course have better weapons than any place else we've been. 
would you like a bow? I do, but I want your magic to hit hard. Nothing for you, huh? Well, cool. An agility boost sword. A wooden sword doesn't really feel like Kyle's style, though. Do you have a sword that's so big and heavy that no normal person could wield it? Because that sounds like a Kyle weapon. Oh. I see it now. I see the path to get here. There are fairies in the Forest of the South! Oops, that's supposed to be super secret! Hmm. Don't trust the fairies in a foggy forest, kid. There ain't a person in town who ain't talking about the Vile Tribe. I better be buying some weapons and armor before there's nothing left to buy. Hmm. Hey, Dias didn't do that in Star Ocean 2. When you get him in the party, he's exactly the same level he was the whole time. The, the, the problem is by then you probably become strong as strong if not stronger than him organically <laughs> you slogged all the way here from Berg Ooh, doggy that must have been you must have gone through a heap of shoes on that trip the village of the prairie tribe from Pow is to the south of the forest of illusion when I was a wee lad I remember the forest as a very confusing place but a fairy always seemed to appear to show me the way if I got lost. Long ago, an adventurer passing through Tamir told me that the Vile Tribe lived in the frontier. I worked for a long time about what those monsters were doing out there. Uh, probably scraping a meager existence. My husband says the Vile Tribe's nothing to worry about, but I think they're preparing for an attack. Well, I mean, they are, but... My husband's too optimistic. If he'd stop and think about it, he'd know I was right. Maybe he wants to ignore the truth instead of accepting it. I guess more of a question of what's he gonna do about it. Buy a big stick and whack them when they invade? Hey, kids, wanna go around town and tell people how my medicine cured you of leprosy? It might be more believable if you chop a finger off. I'll pay you for it. You'd have 10% of the profits if you make the people here believe. What do you say? This guy's creeping me out, Alex. Let's go. I'm running low on medicine. Eh, let me grind up that tree over there to make some more. Okay, we can cure leprosy by grinding up a random tree. Good to know. You sure you didn't want to grind up a snake for its oil? Put a snake through a juice press? I think that's how you're supposed to cure leprosy, right? I miss my grandson. I, I personally can't believe the big push for fish oil. I'm like, it's modern snake oil salesman. Oh, with all the health benefits, uh-huh. Press X to doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I wish my grandson would accept nature for what it is and shut his whiny little cake hole. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but that little moron gets my bloomers in a bunch. I never wanted to move here in the first place, but my grandson insisted it would be good for... It would do me good. Wrong! I've been miserable since we arrived in this godforsaken town. Yeah? But has it improved your health? I helped my grandma move here after Grandpa passed away. I thought she'd spend the rest of her days in this peaceful place, far from the noise of the city. Now I find out the Vile Tribe has been sighted. And monsters have appeared to the Force of Illusion. I, I think it's time to move again. Well, let me see if I can think of an even quieter place for you to take her. How about Berg? The place north of here is called Might's Tower. That creepy place is full of monsters! Yuck! Well, so is every place else we've ever been, so... Oh, hey, Carla! How's how's it going? 
I'm sorry, every time I see that hat, I just have to think of Carla from Seiken and Setsu 3. The boy in the weapon shop is going to take me with him to the Forest of Illusions to show me a big secret. Do you think the secret of the forest is a big pile of treasure or maybe a really big pile of candy? This is a small town shop with big deals on first rate armor. Well, let's see what we got here. Wow, it's not bad. I, even though I didn't buy any restorative items and kind of regretted it, I saved up every penny I could. It's still not enough. Oh, this is so annoying. I need more money. Nah, Nash can go naked. He doesn't need clothing. Uh... I'm gonna buy a second set of silver armor. Uh, that's probably as far as we'll get. Two hundred bucks short. We'll just have to come back here. I also need to go restock on magic restoring items. <laughs> but. Let's see if we can get a little bit more money so we can put a little more armor on. Oh, how did you get here? Well met, children. Long time no see. What's the surprise, my fox, my faux feline friend? You should know by now that I'm a lone wolf and all. I follow only the scent of adventure and it takes me many places. As long as the destination's stocked with lecky crew, and honey sweet brew, I'm game. <laughs> Enough about me. How have you fared in your adventure, my friends? Check it out! Alex got the blue dragon helmet. Ah, you met the blue dragon. Impressive! Yeah, um, and he got eaten by Galleon's forces. We should probably mention that. All that remains is to meet the black dragon and gain its prize. Once you've accomplished that, you shall achieve what you most desire. You shall be a fully-fledged Dragon Master, the stuff of legends, my boy! The only fly in the ointment is that none of us have a clue about where to look. My, my mother once said the lair of the Black Dragon was located on the frontier, and that it was guarded jealously by the Vile Tribe. She said the only way to get there was by flying. I don't know anything about finding the Black Dragon, but I can help you get airborne. There's an old inventor named Might who lives in this neck of the woods. He's, he's a bit strange. But if you asked him, I know he could easily build a flying machine for you. The only problem is Might isn't really a people person, so you can't all go to see him. One of you will be more than sufficient for the job. So what do you say, Alex? Are you up for a trip to Might's Tower? It sounds exciting, Alex. Are you going with him? Alright. Let's just relax and have fun. We'll stay here and wait for you two to come back with great news, I hope. Alright. Nal doesn't count as an extra person, then? Okay. I don't think Might is allergic to cats, so I don't see why not. If you can stand him, he should be able to stand you. Alright, this is it. This is my end game party. Let's, uh, let's just go fight the last boss now. I I'm satisfied. You're wearing two rings. I want to see that sword. For some reason, we have lots of wild horses in the area. People of Poe have learned to make a living by taming them. The prairie tribe can be stubborn, but as long as you're honest with them, they'll treat you with respect. My tower isn't too far to the north of this little hovel. It's, it's just the kind of walk to challenge these adventuring but walk to challenge these adventuring bones of mine. Let's go this way. <laughs> if that was north, why do we go through the forest? Because I have a level 99 adventurer with me. 
That's why. Ambush. I, I see. It's got teeth. Oh, and a bird just peeked out of that one. He has no techniques. He has no techniques. We haven't seen somebody who doesn't have MP since Ramus. Hey, Sunshine Yon! How's it going? I haven't seen you in ages. He'll really let me go through the forest with him. Amazing. I wonder what his defense stat is like. Ooh, let's attack that. Uh. <laughs> Yetis! Okay. Seriously. You hit six times as hard as I do, and you make four attacks. What is that sword? Yeah, I do stream at odd hours. Alright, we'll, we'll go. We'll go heal up and head to the tower. You're already dead. Nani? Oh shit, did that take more than one hit? Oh. Tough fungus. I, I just can't believe it actually lets me go into the forest. Poke about the map a little bit more first. I don't know, man. Last time we used an air, a, a mad inventor's air travel, it uh, it didn't go well for us at the end. Do we really want to do that again? Where is everybody? Oh, here they are. All of our efforts are useless. What can we do now? Even the Black Dragon... Not even the Black Dragon has the power to stop this. Be careful, Alex. <laughs> it's like, everyone else is all cheerful and Nash is just sitting there going, Ah, uh, it's all useless. We're doomed. Take it easy there, Nash, buddy. I'm gonna go buy some more. Come on, Alex, don't be w lazy and use the wings. Let's walk and enjoy the sunlight. No, I need to buy stuff. I got it. <laughs> All right, maybe this guy isn't the perfect party. Let's kick him into the uh, <laughs> kick him into the sea. Wait a minute, he knows about our dragon wings.
Tell me, is Old Might still alive and well, or is it given off a scent of a different kind? Is that, is that you, Lake? Oh, come in. Might Melt will be very pleased to see you. Hmm. A shoot. Huh. Hmm. 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 Moon? Intruders, go away! Beware the cranky, stinky, rude genius within. If you're an inventor's visitor, today's password is... It's blank. Huh? Okay, what's the clue? Pretty sure that this chute here is an exit to get out of the tower. Boy, I sure could use a clue. moon we're on the moon why is this here there's got to be a clue somewhere cranky stinky rude genius let's see which one of these is cranky which ones these are stinky and which one of these is rude how the hell did I figure this out as a kid? There must have been a clue. But I don't know what it is. This was originally for the Sega CD. And then they made a remake for the PS1. And that's what we're playing. And then they made more remakes. And uh, I can't speak to uh, anything about the others. Actually, I've never even played the Sega CD version, so... Uh... Also, when I asked you how you were doing, you didn't answer. How is life treating you, Sunshine? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> I don't have a clue. All right, Lunar Silver Star, Might Tower. Oh, hey, RPG Classics. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. Want to leave town? Go the northwest. There are three doors. Talk to the person in the middle. Blah, blah, blah. You, of course, that you path. Head up the stairs on the second floor. You'll find a real annoying puzzle if you don't know anything about astronomy. You have to walk to the four doors in a specific order. Save the tour trouble the order is planet star sun moon why is the moon last not the sun because it the because this is lunar of course when you walk through the last door you'll find yourself on a highly confusing okay anyway 
Planet, star, sun, moon. I must have just brute forced this. Planet, star, sun, moon. Yeah, I must have just brute forced this when I was younger. All right. Focusing on your physical health. Yeah. Oh, if you rewind to the beginning, you'll hear my thoughts on what sets this one apart from the others of its era. But yeah, when it comes to classic RPGs, Lunar is one of my favorites. And I am something of a connoisseur of the classic RPG. Well, I'll already say that the inventor of this tower is leagues ahead of uh, the ones in that other town where we got the hot air balloon. This guy's on a completely different tech level. In fact, hmm. part of me wants to blow them away with high end spells, and part of me is like, no, I'm traveling with this guy. I should just regular attack things away. Because <coughs> this guy is stupid overpowered. Oh, uh oh. You're a dodgy thing, aren't you? Oh. That works. Gives Alex something to do, at least. So he can't solve all my problems with brute force. Just most of them. Hmm. <sighs> I don't see where the other one comes out now. The angry geometric shapes attack. Nah, we can just brute force this one, too. Why spend MP when you don't have to? Might as well save it for the hats. Wow, and he fully healed <laughs> within one turn. Just leeching off you right now. Actually, the XP in here isn't very good at all. I should try to avoid these fights because I'm not getting anything from them. Well, I am getting money, and I'm gonna need that at least, but. Plasma Prism? I'm unconvinced. I have not. Uh, kinda. Octopath Traveler is supposed to be a revival of the classic Squaresoft JRPG, which is, yes, you know, it's similar. I still haven't tried it, although I do own it. I don't think I have Triangle Tactics yet, though, but I do have, I just, I just got, I just finally got uh, the Kirby here. Yeah. Nobody in town had Kirby for like ever. And I finally, one of the stores finally got a shipment of a bunch of them in. Because there had been, I guess there had been a few of them that were put out and uh, they were all immediately sold. And then just nobody in town had it. It was so annoying. Anyway, yeah, no, I haven't tried Octopath Traveler yet. Been meaning to, 
Actually, I hear Live Alive is getting a, uh, a remake or a remaster or something. I've been meaning to play Live Alive for so long. There was a fan translation by Aeon Genesis, I believe, ages ago, and I just, uh, I, I started the game a couple of times, and somehow I just... I'd complete one or two of the things, and then I, I just wouldn't finish it. For those who don't know, Live Alive, I guess it's kind of obscure. It's like 10 RPGs, 10 mini RPGs, each with its own story. And then, I believe, the main quest will be like with all of them or something. I'm not too clear. What the hell's going on? Why am I just running into dead ends? Am I failing to see the obvious? Let me look again. Oh! Oh yes, of course! Down? Well, that doesn't help at all! Still getting out of the fight with a hat, is there? Maybe there is. Somebody needs to stop this mad inventor. They're called Tormentors. He's creating little living dolls that are evil to torment people. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with. I'm going to kill it with fire! I like them! I like my Baldur's Gates. I like my Arcanums. I like my uh, Vampire of the Masquerade. I like... I enjoyed the uh, Pathfinder one quite a bit. Still haven't tried the sequel. I'm a fan of Western RPGs. chest over there. I gotta know what's in the box, but I'm gonna be punished for it, aren't I? A barrier way. Hmm. But I like regenerating. Seems like a good ring, though. Yeah. Yeah, the modern RPGs are not like the old ones. I appreciate Squaresoft's trying to recapture the magic. I'll have to find out whether or not they're capable of it. Okay, that would just take me down there. I've already been there. Yeah. Bloodlines is a pretty good game, although I'm I'm a big fan of uh I'm a big fan of Troika. They only ever made three games, but all of them are incredible. Oh, oh no, it didn't die. Curse you, you stupid hat. Hmm. Sword dance is not a guaranteed one shot, that's unfortunate. think if I were gonna recommend JRPGs what would my list look like 
Well, I mean, obviously I'd recommend Chrono Trigger if you haven't played Chrono Trigger, but if you're a fan of RPGs, you've played Chrono Trigger! Uh, I would recommend Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals. You don't have to play Lufia and the Fortress of Doom first, but... But there's no reason not to. Lufia and the Fortress of Doom is a mediocre RPG, but Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals is top tier. Let me see, JRPGs, JRPGs, um... I, I, I don't even need to mention the Final Fantasy series. If you're a fan of JRPGs, you already know what you think of that series. For good or for ill. I'm a fan of it, but... What, you're just in a random tube? I guess that was our goal! Oh, okay! Mike doesn't like people, so he built a maze in the tower to keep intruders out. But it's much easier to get back down. This chute will take you directly to the ground floor. Just, uh, jump into the garbage chute. It'll be fine. Kodelka. I haven't played Kodelka yet. Um... I think somebody mentioned that the other day. Um, maybe I should be going for the more obscure titles because everyone knows about Valkyrie Profile, and at this point, Star Ocean is well known. Um, uh, what's a really good JRPG that nobody talks about? I'd have to think about it for a little bit. I played so many. Ah, <laughs> uh, mm, not hack and slash. Let me see. I wonder if my views on what's well known in other people's is normal. I mean, I enjoy things like Beyond the Beyond. But most people apparently don't like Beyond the Beyond very much. No, actually that's not true. Most people have never heard of it! Uh... Hmm... I don't know, I think all the best RPGs are for the most part fairly well known. Like, everybody knows Xenogears, everybody knows, um... Yeah... If you haven't played Journey of the Cursed King for the PS2, that one was a fantastic classic RPG. Dragon Quest, I want to say 8, Journey of the Cursed King. That one was actually really good. Is there something wrong with your eyes? Didn't you see the signs warning about the cranky, stinky, rude genius? Well, that's me, Mike. I hate noise, interruptions, and people. You're trespassing. Go away. I didn't play the remake. Um... There's a PC version of Final Fantasy VII that has been modded for years. So you can actually get... If you want Final Fantasy VII to have really high-end graphics, it already existed. If you want to play Final Fantasy VII with all kinds of mods and things, they're out there. I still haven't tried it myself. I actually had the PC version back in the day, but it would lock up and crash every time I tried to play it, so... But yeah... Final Fantasy VII happens to be the only Final Fantasy that I'm aware of that had a PC release back in the day. So, I don't really feel a lot of incentive to try their remake. A lot of people asked me about it when it was coming out, and I was always like, eh. But then again, I'm a big fan of ROM hacks and mods and just all that kind of stuff in general, so, you know, I, I was the odd one out. 
Ah, yeah. FF1 is... I like FF1 immensely. But, yeah. Anyway. Smells like you're eating better these days. <laughs> ah, what do you care? You only come here when you want something, so out with it. Who's little brat? This is my friend Alex. He's looking for the Black Dragon. And when he finds him, he'll be the next Dragon Master. But his real quest is to travel the frontier and rescue a girl from the Magic Emperor. Frontier? Ah! Now I get it. You want me to build this kid an airship. Right, you know Alex can't get to the frontier without it. Alex needs your help, Might, and so do I. You know I'll beg if I have to. Bah! Preserve what little dignity you have. I'll build your damned airship. You haven't changed a bit, my friend. Thank you. Now you have a way to reach the frontier, which brings you to the Black Dragon. I've heard rumors that it can be found in the prairie to the south of Timur. So let's go back there and see if anyone can give you some facts. How do you always know so much about everything? <laughs> You're an inquisitive little one, aren't you? that That's not an answer. Alice, I'm going to stay here and chat with Might. You head down to Tim Hur and find out what you can. Ah, what's there to talk about? I still stink and you still have a ridiculous beard. Ha, <laughs> you're one to talk, my friend. The difference between you and me is that I make facial hair look good. That must be our launch pad. You know, I bet if I search the tower, I could probably rustle up a couple more items, but... Oh, wait, uh, and now I'm at the bottom. I'm gonna have to go back through that puzzle again, aren't I? Oh well. Let's go into the forest alone! Hey, where's Nash? Hey, Alex! I thought I told you to take your time. Just kidding, buddy. Let's go. Oh, I can smell Kyle's beer breath from the other side of the room. So where are we going, Alex? Is there more beer? Hey, Alex, any good news? Wow, Jessica's blamming the, blamed off her feet. How'd Kyle manage that? I'm not drunk. I only had a sip. All right, I had a few sips out of five or six mugs. Welcome back, Alex. We're all ready to leave, but there's a problem. We can't find Nash. Oh, there you are. I apologize, Alex. I returned as fast as I could, so how'd it go with Might? How the hell? When you left, you were sulkier than a three-year-old. But now you're smiling so wide, the top of your head's about to fall off. What a weirdo. Uh, well, something's going on in the town square. A man and a woman seem to have an extreme disagreement with another man. Alex, I don't know if we should get involved in something kinky like that. <laughs> Kyle always jumping to weird conclusions. Let's save once in a while. Can't breathe. Ow. No. Your crime deserves a painful death. A czar, please. Alex, they're hanging that poor guy. I mean, the ropes are around his arms. He is hanging, but he's not being hanged, you know? <laughs> but, but he's dying, Alex, is he? 
He looks fine to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop this! You don't know what he did? Oh great, now he's gonna go murder a whole bunch of kindergartners. Why do you set the murderer free? It's you. We are of the Plains tribe. I am Tempest and this is Fresca. That man was trying to sell fake medicine to the desperate people here. Oh, you know that we guy. Lied for profit. It is the rule of the prairie to execute liars. Why do you dare to interfere in our tribal affairs? Are you a thief as well? Execute liars? Oh my. So he totally did deserve it. How dare he speak something untrue? <laughs> no buyer beware around here. This isn't the prairie. The laws of Tamur are different. And they don't allow you to hang a man until he's been proven guilty of a crime. Do we know that? How do we know that's Tamur's laws? Did we ask anyone what the local laws were? You fought the vile tribe at Tamur Pass. You know our cause is just. I must know why you took it upon yourself to interfere. Are you not a warrior? I've never met a warrior who permits a liar to go unpunished. Why, you guys really hate liars, don't you? Oh, man. I'll have to warn Mark Twain to stay away from your prairie. There can only be one explanation. You must be a coward! Okay. I, I don't care if you call me a coward. Well, then. This is time to prove he is of the warrior class. A true warrior would never decline a challenge from another warrior. I might. What, why should I fight you? <laughs> I challenge you! I shall quickly learn if you are what you purport to be. If you defeat me, I shall pledge my allegiance to your cause. Oh, okay, then I have a reason to fight you. I can get a vassal. Cool. But if you fall before me, your public humili humiliation will be known to all. We'll make certain of that. I don't think we can talk our way out of this, Alex. No, I, I can get a vassal here. This is fine. I must know your name before we begin. I mean, I could just sh flash the fact that I've got like three dragon artifacts. Well then, Alex, it's time to prove your worth. I expect a hard fight, no less. Two arms! Mm-hmm. Hmm, should probably buff and sword dance, but... What if I just hit you with a freaking dragon anger? Oh, you have more than 200 hit points. Hmm. Alright, alright. Darn, I wish I'd given you that thing instead of Kyle to boost your range. Now would be the time. Now nah, we'll use Sword Dance. It'll be fine. You have some interesting moves. But I have two healing items. Alright. Oh, he resisted that. Oh, well, didn't matter. He's down anyway. <laughs> no XP? You're not even worth XP? <sighs> well, you're not really a warrior, are you? Your skills are impressive, Alex. It appears you do know the way of the warrior. Yeah, uh, being a warrior just means you know how to fight. I don't know what all this stuff about lying and accepting challenges is. I, th I think you're a little bit confused about what warrior means. I apologize for doubting you. Whenever I can be of existence, I will gladly lend it. No, no, that's not what you said earlier. You swore you'd pledge yourself to my cause. A 
still can't believe you bested Tempest. All right, Tresca. The fight was fair and the victory is Alex's. Hardly, Tempest. You're exhausted. You've been riding for three days. Holy chaps, he's this strong after three days and nights of travel? He probably just bumped into the statue like we always do. How many days and nights have we been going around without sleep? Alex! You have come here in search... We have come here in search for a singer from our tribe. She was kidnapped by the Vile tribe. Five moons passed. We've been traveling without rest in hopes of finding her kidnappers. We're looking for our friend Luna. They kidnapped her too. I see. It appears we're on the same side then. Here, Alex, take this. Uh, th thank you, I guess. I have already decided, Fresca. The amulet was bestowed upon me by the elders. It is a symbol of bravery beyond what is normal. I pray it brings you luck in your search as well. What, why are you handing me something that's important? Farewell! We shall discuss it when our paths next cross. Um, what about that whole pledging yourself to my cause thing? You just ran away to get away from your... your you left me with this necklace. <laughs> that necklace, it kind of looks like a dragon, doesn't it? Let me see. Don't touch it, Kyle. Your hands are filthy. No, it's right. It's got a carving of a dragon. Perhaps that barbarian, oh, I mean warrior of the prairie, can help us find the lair of the black dragon. Alright. <laughs> heals everyone, including your foes. Ah, oh, Final Fantasy Tactics, yeah. Final Fantasy Tactics is different from the rest of the series. But then again, every Final Fantasy is different from the rest of the series. But Final Fantasy Tactics more so. You know what's weird? Vagrant Story takes place in the same world as uh, Final Fantasy Tactics did. I don't know, I just thought that was weird. Vagrant Story is an interesting game. It's 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 got its it's got its pluses. It's worth playing. Well, I can't equip it. All right, I'ma just stow this away then. Hmm. I'm gonna try to buy more armor. Yes, turns out all he really wanted to do was get rid of this stupid cursed necklace. All the warrior stuff was just a pretense. He just needed somebody to accept the cursed item from him. Oh man, I just don't have the money. Yours is relatively inexpensive. I really want to buy more armor, but instead of buying more armor, I'm going to buy more MP restoring items. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's, yeah, Vagrant Story is different. It's, uh... Kinda hack and slash, only kinda its own weird combat system. Um jeez. Oh it's its combat is is unusual. You can target any part of the uh you know, any part of the enemy you want to in some cases. Uh that depends on the enemy. Uh it's got this thing that's building up called risk. Basically 
you can keep chaining together attacks almost infinitely, but they become less and less effective the, the higher that meter gets. Oops, no, no, hold on. Anyway, I'm not going to try to explain Vagrant's story. <laughs> it is what it is. Well, I guess I don't have to go up the tower again. That's good to know. But, uh, it's not quite where I meant to go. I, why can't I wear ten rings? For that matter, why can't I equip six shields? I've got plenty of space on my arm to strap more shields on. Three on each arm, it'd be great. Nobody expects the six buckler man to attack. I mean, if you've got a magic buckler that gives you plus 50 defense, why wouldn't you strap as many of them onto your body as possible? This must be the force of illusion. Did anyone else get goosebumps when we entered it? Yeah, and I felt something else. I want to say it's magical, but I believe it's something else. You got all bumpy because you're traveling with a living legend, sweet cakes. The creepy trees and wacko background only enhances my natural good looks. Let's keep moving, kiddies. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to turn these things into a salad. There's no way around it. Let's see what happens if I slice them. Summon elemental power. Yeah, he's the fastest now. Cool. Even with yeah. Twin Blade, Kyle's still not able to keep up with Alex. Check this out. Okay. It'd be easier if I just had Like with me and he'd kill them all <laughs> with his melee attack. Oh well. Oh yeah, yeah, throw the bucklers like frisbees. Yeah, that'd work. Yeah! Bucklers of returning, too. Alex, it's a clearing in the middle of the forest. Some of the people of Bao cleaned up this area so travelers could camp here. Come on, Kyle, why would they do that? If anybody knows about sleeping outdoors, it's Kyle, so let's take a break. No? That sounds like a bad idea. Do not sleep in the forest of illusion. <laughs> Strange, we didn't actually take a break. They just said let's take a break. Hold. Yeah, I think we just do this again. I don't like the look of those bushes. Check this out. Yeah, this will work for this too. Oh no, they're fast! No! Curses. Okay, now we're actually in danger. They don't hit quite hard enough to be a major threat. Like the bees in the previous areas that totally messed me up. 
These aren't likely Check to party wipe me. But they are going to drain a lot of my resources every time we encounter them. Actually, I think I can use Kyle. I think I can use his uh, AoE. Let's split up, gang! Never! Never split the party! Don't do it! Rule number one of being an adventurer. Monster Wasp. My, how creative their naming is. How did they come up with it? Alright. Alright, this should work. Boy, I sure am glad we don't have to make a concentration check every time our wizards get hit. That would be awful. By the power of Athena. So we tried... Nope, there's no element that Check hurts them, out. especially. They have no weaknesses. Windsword Kyle is slow. He hits hard. Man, he's slow. <sighs> okay, Kyle. That's it. From now on, I want you to equip two wind swords. You're too slow with only one. No, I'm going to give you six wind swords. One in each hand, one that you hold with your teeth, and um, the other four will just be duct taped to your back. As long as it gives you the speed boost, we don't care. It. I've got the next big light novel idea. That'll that'll be what it is. <laughs> the hero gets summoned from another world. All the usual bullshit RPG tropes going on. Except what he does is he just goes, why don't I just equip like all the magic rings? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> and everyone in the world is like no! No, you can't do that! Why not? <laughs> Seems to be working. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's the monkeys that run in a straight line. We haven't <sighs> seen that behavior since... since the first cave. giving me freaking healing items. Those are like, what, two bucks for a dozen? Two of those trees are definitely different from the rest. I can feel it in my gut. The exit is close, but there's nothing here. But again, maybe it's just gas from that last night's Fiberito surprise! If we couldn't find the exit in the daytime, there's no way we can find it in the dark! Perhaps yell a little louder! Perhaps the monsters didn't hear you! Come on, let's go back to the campsite. I still say that's a terrible idea. Let's not camp in the forest. Aha! There's an item. 
No, I already got that one. Never mind. Got. A book of exploding runes. Why would a rust monster eat a book? Did he print it on iron pages? Is it a whole bunch of iron tablets? Also, stats based on. I could come up with something cool that it does with exploding runes. If I wanted to. Jessica's attack will randomly put things to sleep? And Kyle's will make them sleep permanently. Mm. Alright, no more Mykonids. There's two wasps coming. Get a turn. Summon elemental power. And the wasps won't be getting another. Dead yet. By the power of Alfina. Check this out. Nah. Nah, the only thing that passes through is stuff that you cannot digest. If they're eating metal, it's because they ca they're consuming it. Presumably, a rust monster's body would have a lot of metal in it. Presumably. But somehow they're converting metal into energy. What metabolic processes are going on, I can't even imagine, but... Jessica and Kyle would be able to clean this up, but it's not. There we go. Kyle gets an extra attack. Okay, that was a big level. He's now a match for Alex, except he's slow. 
but he hits harder, so who cares? <laughs> who cares if he always goes last? Why are you always picking on Nash? this particular foe. See, you two make a great team. Kyle weakens them and Come Jessica on, finishes them. There's not enough space to juke around these enemies. <sighs> Just short. No, randomly reviving people. But you know, in Lunar 2, they actually take that away. In Lunar 2, you get Ruby who will randomly attack the enemies instead. But, uh, the reviving is way better. <laughs> No, it's like fall, but with a with an N instead of an F. The holy hairpin. Where is it? I just got a new hairpin. There we go. Alright. Ha ha ha. That's just what you get in the next Check game. You don't get an all. You get a different character. And that character does not apparently pack smelling salts with them at all times. Instead, she scratches the enemy and I think maybe breathes fire or something. I think. probably like Navi a lot better if Navi actually did something. That's very true. When we get our time machine working, we should go back and inform that to uh, Miyamoto. 
And then maybe I'll give I'll, I'll go to Nintendo and give them Breath of the Wild when they're starting the development of it. Just give them the full thing and be like, here, just add another enemy to every area. <laughs> and add some underground areas. The other timelines will be great, and then I'll come back to this timeline and dump the stuff off here. Just like, hey, here, time to re-release Breath of the Wild uh, as Breath of the Wild Plus now. This was developed by you in another timeline. cool down like that of uh, Mifa's Grace would probably be a good amount of cool down. Crap, we are running completely out of everything. Oh dear. Holy shit, she learned something! Recover all HP. Single target. Alright, there we go. She's got one spell left to learn. Summon elemental power. Althena, lend me your power! Check this out. We're going to go back to the campsite, quote-unquote. We've done everything now. If we can find our way back. Ah, oh, here it is. Are you ready to rest? Yep! Restore my MP before we get attacked, please. I've been thinking, I'm convinced that magic is being used to conceal the exit. Between Alex and Kyle, we should have been able to find our way through. I agree there's magic in this forest. The air seems to be thick with it. And on that pleasant note, let's get some sleep. Somebody should be watching, right? Somebody's going to watch for monsters, right? Noob adventures. Kyle, the blue star looks beautiful tonight, doesn't it? I've been thinking, Kyle, about you and about us. And what I think it is that we should give it a... Kyle? It's my luck you drop off to sleep before I get the words out, get the words right in my head. Oh well, rest well, my ignorant knight. Kyle, that was the smartest thing you ever did. You just dodged a bullet. You can never have enough fish. A dream. Who's there? Oh, Reaver, you okay? <laughs> Which one? That's a good question at this point. Is it COVID 2022 yet? <laughs> uh, how's it going? Multi hair color people? Why have you trespassed in the sacred forest of the Prairie dry Tribe? Identify yourself. Hi, I'm Alex. How's it going? No, we're not. 
We're not looking for a man named Tempest. What are you talking about, Alex? That's not even... What? Tempest, how dare you use the name of our chief to aid in your deception? Oh, the necklace you possess is a black dragon pendant, and if our leader entrusted you with it, then he obviously considers you friends, which makes you friends of the Prairie Tribe. Please allow us to escort you to our village. Well, that was easy. Kyle, weren't you supposed to be sleeping? Heh, <laughs> not at all. I was just trying to surprise them. I'm really not as ignorant as you think I am, Jess. He did get restored. Hooray. Move the ants. Very good. Two wizards in the party, and neither of them could figure out how to make the ants move. I usually use fire when I want an ant to move out of my way. Okay, fire doesn't work very well on green wood. An axe is usually more effective. A star bracelet. Who equips bracelets? Nash, is this an item for you? Ah. Huh. Well, time to load up on all that healthy crap that you normally wouldn't want to eat, right? Take advantage of it and come out stronger than before. No, I really do hope you get better, man. Why did you even have something on hand that you think is absolutely disgusting? Man, if my tastes inverted and all the things I liked I didn't like anymore, I'd be totally screwed. Because I don't buy things that I don't like normally. A except when I do sometimes. Hmm, come to think of it. <laughs> I think it's out of reach. Stupid. Oh well, whatever. Screw it. Out of my way! Yeah. Oh, 
I'm just gonna do it again. I mean, I can think of worse things than Popeye to become. Although you have to learn to eat spinach out of the can using a corn cob pipe to suck it through. Ah, that seems uh, that seems like a pretty pretty rugged way to eat your grains. Yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna roast everything now. I'm done with this forest, man. Burn the whole thing to the ground. I'm just gonna grab whatever loot's here and we're gonna move on. Oh, an evil face shield. Why, of course, I'd love to equip that. It has unnecessary decorations that only add weight to it. And it's probably cursed. Yeah, I knew I was done with the forest. Let's go. Hmm. What are the odds of black dragons in there? Man, I've seen him plant spinach seeds and immediately the spinach grows and he harvests it on the spot. He shouldn't be here. Our village is being overrun by a horrible disease. Oh, damn it, Reaver, you spread it. Now we'll look at the trouble we're going to have. <laughs> Sorry, pal, but we're not going to leave just because everyone's catching a cold. The illness plaguing our, cold is no, our, plaguing our village is no cold, my friend. We're gonna re you're going to regret your decision. Hey, look, it's a statue that fully heals me. Okay, we're cured. <laughs> what do you have to apologize for, my love? Please don't he hesitate. Please speak to me. What do you have to... Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> This is the home of the Elder of Pau. Please be sure to greet him politely and with respect. You're not keeping people away from your Elder at least? Oh yeah, you people don't have germ theory yet, do you? Shit. Well, I guess they just burn incense to keep the miasma away? I would welcome you to our village, but there's unfo you are unfortunate enough to come in a time of great crisis. The village singer was kidnapped, and a terrible disease is spreading among us. I suggest you leave before you suffer any misfortune. Hmm. There are so many people, sick people in the village, there aren't enough blankets for them all. That's why we're working so fast to make more. That sounds like something that you should do before the disease strikes. We haven't been this busy making clothes since the Great Moth Swarm! Okay, a Great Moth Swarm might be a disaster for your clothing, but you can have it's an excellent source of protein. Just have to set up moth traps people of Pau have always had a special relationship with the wild horses. I'm using strands of horse hair to make this blanket. A horse hair blanket? A 
horsehair blanket? I just can't imagine that wouldn't be itchy and uncomfortable. Oh well, whatever. Ah, good point. If your clothes are plastic, the moths will leave them alone. Every one of the prairie tribe is trained from birth to fight. One of our best warriors is Fresca. Not that we've ever seen her fight yet. I'm always fondly remembered when she... I, I'll always fondly remember when she broke my hand. Uh, broken hands are awful. You don't want those and you're not going to fondly remember them. No. And especially in your culture, you're probably not going to be able to set them to heal straight. I mean, even in our culture, we can't always get things to heal quite straight. I, I speak from personal experience. <laughs> even breaking fingers, you will not remember them fondly. You will, however, never forget... <laughs> Strong and beautiful, huh? Hey, I guess I should be happy with one out of the two. Don't worry, Kyle. We'll figure out a way to make you strong. Ooh. Ah, nice one, Jessica. Everyone at Bow is proud of Fresca and what she's done for our village. Huh, it does kind of sound like it should be a soda, doesn't it? Doesn't seem like there's that many plague victims. We've seen only one. We've seen one sick person. Where's the rest of them? The medicine I made for the village isn't helping anyone. But if you want to buy some anyway, go right ahead. <sighs> wow, these are only sold in vain. They swore these were only sold in vain, and then the Thieves' Guild had them because they steal, and Black Rose Street with its close ties. And this entire game, they've made sure that the starlight didn't show up anyplace else. And then just here they are randomly in this tent city in the middle of nowhere. Where do they come from? How are they made? How did you get them? We just randomly stopped caring. Well, you might as well have just sold them in every town then, if it didn't matter. We lead a nomadic life here in the prairie. Whenever our animals have finished grazing the area around our village, we just pack up and move on. Okay. So you overgraze an area and then move to another area and overgraze that one. Howdy, this is the home of Tempest, the strongest warrior and the chief of our prairie tribe. Well, then we'll talk to him last. Two! Two sick people! I don't know what to do. My poor child's fever won't go down. Well, let's cast some healing spells. Never seeing you around these parts, not liking strangers, never have, thinking you should get out of here. Or telling you to hold on, wondering if you're with the Magic Emperor. We despise the Magic Emperor. Damning the Magic Emperor, cursing him for hurting my sister, wanting to help and knowing I can't. This is this one guy who, who, who talks differently from everyone else. Okay. <laughs> this is where Vane gets them. <laughs> uh, Kyle. You're asking about Kyle. What, Black Dragon? I don't know anything about it, and even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. Now go and leave me be. What an unpleasant attitude you've got there, old man.
looks like we've run out of people to talk to with these two. Gonna have to go to the chief now. Don't sp speak that way of Althena. She made this world for you. That's right, you tell him. I told you a hundred times, Althena doesn't exist. She was real. Why doesn't she stop this song? Why doesn't she stop this song? I like this track. It's not nearly the best track in the game, but why would we want to stop it? Why doesn't she save her children from suffering? Answer me that! Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's go. <laughs> no, no, you see, Kyle's average alcohol blood content is so high that no germ can exist within his body. The disease is spreading through our village is being caused by the dark songstress. I'm sure of it. Fresca, my son's bride, is searching for her at the moment. Alex, welcome to Poe, the home of the Prairie Tribe. You're the first person to make us feel welcome. We noticed that the necklace you gave Alex was a carving of a black dragon. We're wondering if... We're looking for the dragon and was wondering if you knew where it was. Indeed, the black dragon fortress is our sacred ground. And protecting it is the sworn duty of our people. Okay. Here, take your necklace back. Alex, I gave you this out of respect and gratitude. Why won't you accept it? We don't mean any disrespect... We just think you're going to need it more than we do. I will not take back my gift, but I will hold on to it for you. Is that a fair compromise? I'm glad you came here, Alex. I enjoy your company and what your friends and that of your friends as well. But you should go. Power is in the grip of a great evil. This is the voice of the dark songstress, the woman whose voice has unleashed the plague. I don't feel so good. Funny, Jess. You better get up before I decide to tickle you to death. Jess? Jess! I'm sorry, Alex. This is just as I feared. Now your friends are afflicted as well. Fresca has been searching for the source of the songs. Once we find it, we'll silence the songs just forever. I found her! The songs are coming from inside the Black Dragon Fortress. I knew you'd find her. Fresca, are you? Be strong, Fresca. I'll go take care of this. Wait, wait, Tempest! Tempest is very strong, but not strong enough to defeat the monsters in the fortress. Please tell the Elder what happened. Okay. So there were like two sick people in the town, and then immediately two of our party members and Fresca added to that. So now we've more than doubled the number of sick people. Tempest went to the fortress by himself? I can't believe he'd forsake his duty as a chief. I sense an enormous magical force in the fortress. There's no way he'll survive. Sure would be nice if I had a healer right now. We'll probably be fine. The Elder has decreed you may enter the Black Dragon Fortress. Thanks. I don't know. I can't say. I don't have the original Japanese for this particular game, and I haven't played the Sega CD version, so I really can't answer where the fourth wall breaking humor comes from. Oh, this track.
Chris, how's it going? I haven't seen you in the last couple of streams either. Oh, shit. Nipple yankers. Oh, no. Oh, no. How will we deal with such a terrifying foe? Yeah. You sure you're not related to the tomato men from Secret of Mana somehow? Oh, hey, his rain went up another one. See, you can just add the word dragon to anything and it becomes more powerful. A bandana? No, no, no. This is a dragon bandana. Now we can charge twice as much for it. And if somebody tries to hit you, they'll, uh... Actually, I'm going to keep stick with the old one because it makes my magic hit harder. Bum, bum, bum. The Dream Bow! I could equip you with a bow, Nash. Would you like that? I'd like that. But I'd rather your magic hit harder. That's <laughs> what it always comes down to. Like, I could equip bows. It'd be cool. I've got almost enough angel rings I could outfit my entire party. Oh, what a dickish trap! Who's that, Alex, is it? Hail, Tempest! You made it, and your timing is perfect! I've never seen monsters like these within the walls of the Black Dragon Fortress. This holy sanctum has been desecrated by the Black Song Songstress and by galleons. That evil slug slime trail is all over this place. You're right, now all we have to do is find him. Always good to get another one of these. I've mentioned before that those are essentially irreplaceable. I'm gonna go restore my MP after that box ate a whole bunch of it. We're gonna go restore our MP right quick. No! L restore MP! D dude! Oh, okay! Yeah, whatever. No, ice cream sounds like a topical ointment to deal with uh, status effects like burn or on fire. Yeah, you mentioned you were getting the new Xbox for your wife. Yeah, you mentioned that the other day. Oops. But not that thing. Oh, that thing seems like it's going to be a Check problem. Oh, good. We have your weakness, too, it turns out. Cool. Okay, we're good. Man, I've had my thoughts about making making my own pen and paper system and making it the worst system ever. I want to make your... You normally you get like elf, dwarf, human. No, I want to make it a percentage based system so you can be anywhere from 1 to 100% and then just make it possible to go up to like 200% or more. 
<laughs> just, just as you level up, you just keep getting more race somehow, and and the races would include on fire. That would just be a race. <laughs> And randomly, something would hit you with like a fireball or something, and it'd be written in it that it makes you 10% on fire for so many rounds. <laughs> it would just be like, just deliberately make the most nonsensical, messed up pen and paper game possible. And I have, I am filled with terrible, terrible ideas that I could implement like that. Uh, on the back of it, print the recommended ages. Age, one funny session and up. Oh shit, that got me. Ah! Oh um, boy, um, I think we just wandered into the wrong game. Yeah. Yeah, this must be that Dark Souls I've heard so much about. Alright, Tempest! You have Flash Wind and Flash Arrow. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what they do. He blew them away from me. I see. Check this out. Well, that's convenient, but I won't get any XP, huh? Oh well. I have heard legendary tales of Fatal. I have no intention of ever going near it, personally. But I have heard tell of this thing. No, I wouldn't. I would be going in a different direction from that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe someday I'll actually do it. I've been thinking about it for some time. Oh, I had another idea for a supplement that would just be all about bears. It just, it would have been a third edition supplement for D&D, &D, and it would have just been filled with bears, and randomly there'd be a park ranger class in the middle of it. I had a lot of hilarious stuff. Oh my god, don't drain my MP again! Bastards! MP is expensive! I still need to play faster than light. I really loved Into the Breach. Hmm. Check this out. Yeah, I haven't tried any of the Assassin's Creeds. There's a lot of things I haven't tried. Ah, eh, Tempest is okay. Probably wait until I hit one more box and then slip down and restore my MP again. Cause doggone it. Check this out. Yep, you got you got the joke on the park ranger. Now it would be the the concept was it would be completely completely absurd. The base concept was the bears that you meet, like the bears that humanity is aware of, those are like the barbarians. Those are just 
Those are just the ones that are like outcasts and on the fringes. Check this and then it just gets sillier from there. So you've got, you know, a centaur bear, and then it goes further until you've got like millipede bears. <laughs> just bear. <laughs> It had it, 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 a lot of horrible bear creatures and monsters and puns and things. It would be completely stupid. But it would have been so much fun to write and to write up all the stat blocks for all this horribleness. Classes, spells, the works. <laughs> like a full supplement of just utter nonsense. That's a new enemy. Ah, oh, we'll be fine. I gotta get the box. Chaos Fiend. My, you look intimidating. But how much punishment can you take? Unbearable. <laughs> Bear shocks. Yes, aquatic bears. Yes. Check this out. Yes, it, it it'll absolutely it would absolutely be filled with puns like that. He didn't get a turn. Ha! You looked intimidating, but in the end, you were nothing. Maybe I should just stop opening them. Some of them may have good items that I need, but is it really worth it? How do you see me? You're facing the other direction. Yeah, I've got like no MP left. Fine, let's go restore our MP. I do not want to fight this crap with no MP, nor do I want to burn all of my precious resources restoring MP just to have it sucked out by the next box I open. But this will be the last time we restore MP. Seriously, man, this is the worst trap ever. Somebody, somebody at Working Designs hates the players, just hates us. Like, what is the most unpleasant thing I can do? I know! <laughs> oh crap, I screwed up. No, I haven't. Ha ha ha! I have eluded you! actually get the other two back in our party they're gonna end up being lower level if I keep going into this tower over and over again no as I said that'll be the last time let's see if I can remember my way through here this time probably not but I'll try yeah he restored too good Okay. You're actually the the easiest thing here to knock down. Check this out.
Ah, I see. Huh. Is that what I was doing? Sounds like a perfectly normal adventure to be on. Check this out. Check this out. Yep, because this enemy is fast and hard to dodge, I just keep getting in encounters with Check it over and out. over. But unlike previous areas where the hard to avoid encounters are a pain in the ass, here, the encounter is so incredibly easy, the game might as well just be handing me XP and money. So I'm happy. <laughs> Yes. So, we know all about Freddy Fazbear, but we don't talk about his competition very much. We don't talk about what what else was out there that gave him the, uh... That he was able to get market share against. You know, that would actually be brilliant. Man, yeah, that would have been a brilliant thing. I was thinking they should have done something more like uh, Earthbound, but what your suggestion is actually really good. Yeah. Damn. Oh shit, he didn't die. Oh, never mind, he didn't do anything anyway. Haha. -ha. Next time I'll just have Kyle slash the thing with his uh, special move. Hey, they're enter it's entertaining to watch Markiplier play him. I tried one. It was frustrating and obnoxious, though. <laughs> it was, uh, I think it was Sister Location. It had, like, it had, like, some good ideas in it, but man... <sighs> the thing with the screws. You don't forget the... Freaking night with the screws. That was the worst. Oh, yeah. Earthbound. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. You have a repo card. Because Earthbound is expensive as hell now. Yeah, reproduction cards are cool. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to actually buy, like, a collection of just reproduction carts for the SNES and NES for a bunch of the stuff I don't have. Someday. Yeah. 
So Earthbound, so Earthbound Zero. Nah. I I beat it, and it's, uh, despite having a few cool things in it, it it you, you're better off just playing the later games. Uh Earth. Uh, Earthbound on the SNES is pretty interesting. Definitely worth playing. And uh, Mother 3 on the Game Boy Advance. Y you have to get a fan translation because it didn't come over. But uh, that, that's the best one in the series. Although I wish the Nintendo 64 one had actually been made. Mother 3 was originally intended to be for the Nintendo 64, and I wish it had, because I, I kind of want to see what it would have looked like. No, oh, Lee looks like you've seen a ghost! Look, Kyle, I just thought I heard someone speaking with a deep voice. You have come! I have heard of your quest to become the Dragon Master, young Alex. I am the dragon you seek. What? Well, but you're... My physical form has been stolen by the magic of the Black Songstress. Now I exist only as a spirit. Though I am fighting her power, the Songstress will soon be able to control the body she stole from me. And she intends it to use to spread the Black Power to every corner of the world. Alex, you must destroy my flesh before that happens. It is the only sure way to prevent this plague from unfolding. But if your body dies, Alex can't become the dragon. Is that your first concern, Nall? Do not worry, little one. The power of my soul will always exist within my armor. There's a big hole in your armor that somebody can just stab you in. Like... Alex, buddy, you're looking good. How's it feel to be a new Dragon Master? Until you undergo my trial, Alex, you cannot become a Dragon Master. But how do I take the trial when you're not here? My trial is simple. You must only find the purity within your own heart. When your pur purity is revealed, your armor will shine bright and the trial shall be complete. You will at last become the Dragon Master our world needs so desperately. Purity. Oak dokes. I now have all this different gear for a dragon master. I've got the shield, the hat. The garbage can lid, the armor, the ring. <laughs> no, no, no! Ah, darn it. I almost stole your sword. Okay, well, uh, hmm. We figured out how to defeat you already, so... So much for the Overlord. Tempest, shouldn't you learn a new archery technique now? Okay, there's the upstairs, but wait, there might be another magic-sucking chest. We have to check.
All right, actually we found a starlight, that's good. Because I need to eat it immediately. All right, here. Alex, please swallow this marble hole. I know it's the size of your head, but just, uh... Just grit and bear it. Aha. So while I'm becoming a dragon master... Evil protection. Where's the sword? I got a dark sword, didn't I? Oh, here it is. The Blade of Evil! Ah, I think I'd rather keep that defense. Armor of Evil isn't very good, but they make a good blade. Hmm. Well, that was nice, since I don't have Jessica with me. But I've actually got... I've been keeping an extra dragonfly wing all game anyway. I'm gonna make everybody hold some of these. Oh yeah, I never looked at your equipment! You refuse to carry any items. I see how it is. Alright. It's the barrier of the black dragon! We can't pass until you equip the black dragon armor! the ring though. That's fine. Okay, what I need is one healing item, one of these, one of those. Okay, let's go. How's it going? Well, we finally found you. Okay, let's go home to Berg. Looks like you might. Looks like your contacts are a little bit foggy. Come, Alex. We have to slay this thing before it harms anyone else. No, no. <laughs> we can and we will. You saw what her song did to your friends in the village in Fresca. To spare the black songstress is to throw away their lives. What man would desire to be a what man who desires to be a hero would let that happen? Alex has been adventuring all this time to save Luna. She's not evil. Her songs are bright and beautiful. And I know Alex can break the spell Galleon's placed on her. All right, Alex, I owe you this chance, and I understand your feelings. But one chance is all I will allow you. If you're unable to break this spell, she must be slain, Alex. She must! 
Try try playing Yark Arena. Get away, stand back. I'm thrilled you made it, boy. Luna's voice has improved tremendously since you last heard her. In fact, my dear, why don't you let your acquaintances hear a tune for all long seen? I'm sure they're breathless in anticipation and we wouldn't want to disappoint them. Behold, the highest level bard in any RPG ever. Playing it on the PC, some parts of the game just run really poorly for some reason. Yes, my sweet fountain of despair, let the world hear your mournful call. A great power is yet locked deep within your soul, dear Luna. Stretch out your alabaster skin and unleash the song that will unfetter it. And if the humans before us must perish as a consequence, so be it. This hardly seems fair. You know, I'm actually pretty durable. <laughs> uh... I can't do anything! We're powerless! You know what to do. Luna is lost to you. Now finish her before the world pays the price for your indecision. What are we going to do? I don't believe you've forgotten about us, Luna. I don't believe you're evil, no matter how hard Galleon tries to change you. Luna! It's the only way to fight a bard, is to use music yourself! Oh, if only it were that easy. Wouldn't that be a happy ending everyone paid to see? I will say that you've impressed me with your resolve, Dragon Boy. I designed my d magic to destroy every fragment of Luna's memory, yet you revived it with nothing more than your pathetic little ditty. Of course, all your efforts are meaningless. Events far beyond your understanding have been set into motion, and all the power of this world will soon be mine to control. If you think I can be intimidated by your little yell, Dragon Boy, you're even more of a simpleton than I first believed. Heed my command, Black Dragon. Devour these pathetic children. And now, back to the task at hand. Yeah, it's bad when the villain understands narrative.
Congratulations. You're a magical girl now. Get away from her or die! Alright, round two. Dragon. Oh well, I have dragon grief. That that's not gonna work here. Can't use the black dragon zone power against it, however. Well, you can't do much. That's not gonna work either. Uh arrows. Oh yeah, this this game is famous for its FMVs. Check they work super hard on them. When everything else was going 3D, they had put so much effort into their 2D. Oh, Ooh, shit, a hundred. Oh, that actually kind of hurts. Uh, that's okay. I have um, I got this. <laughs> Why, hello. <laughs> hello there, Dunn. <laughs> what a pushy dragon you are. Maybe we should spread out, huh, guys? Nah. Sword dance! Maybe you. Oh, wow, this is actually a really tiny battlefield. Oh, okay. Power Smash. Oh, you even make different noises now. Check this out. Nah, I gotta show you. I, uh, before we end the stream, I gotta use Dragon Grief on something at least once. It's a really great spell. It's basically a get-out-of-jail-free card. It has its drawbacks, but I'll cover those, too. Oh, shit, that's true. Uh, Trap Nash, you don't have any more? Oh, well, you don't have any more, anyway. You basically don't serve any purpose at this point, Nash. Check this out. Gotta keep these dragons in line. When they get out of line, we have to make an example of them. Hmm. I have the damage is coming from Kyle. Honestly, Tempest, you're not doing anything back there. I wish I could have loaded Tempest with healing items. Then he'd be useful. <laughs> I have one healing item on you. Okay. It's fine. I could use Dragon Heal, of course, but that would use up way too much MP, and I don't know. If I run out of out of sword dances, I probably won't be able to win the fight. That's fine. Come on, get back on your feet. Oh yeah, Nash will save us. Alright, Nash, hit it with your best spell. Go ahead, give it your best shot. Show us what you got. Nash, you're a loser. It's still not dead. What the hell? It's like dragons are tough or something. Oh, wow! 
I'm sure Nash is okay. He's probably fine. He was just hit directly when he was at one hit point by a dragon's fire breath. It's not a big deal. It's not dying! Am I doing something wrong? There isn't some other target present on you, is there? Like I've been targeting your feet this whole time when I should be targeting your head? <laughs> uh, Tempest is back up now. No? No, you're just that tough? It would be really funny if Nash gets up and finishes the boss off. <laughs> After looking for dragon diamonds. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice to meet you, Dunn. Glad I got you to smile, at least. Why do you have all the healing items? My damage dealer is the person with all the medical supplies today. Great! Ugh. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't know. This game just doesn't have a scan spell. Some games do, some games don't. I think it's a fair trade that you have to spend an action to see the enemy's hit points. And learn their vulnerabilities. Oh, good. Tempest gained another level. Oh, joy. Tempest. I'm not even sure if I'd trade Nash for you. You continue to amaze me. Well, perhaps that's too strong a word. You continue to amuse me, young dragon boy. Here you are, a supposed hero like Dine, and yet the most basic truths still elude you. Yeah, it's my alarm. It's fine. <laughs> You can't destroy me. That power has been and shall remain out of your reach. What's better, you can't even help your beloved Luna. You finally achieved your lifelong dream. For what? For nothing more than the idle amusement of one you have grown to detest. That would be me, in case you weren't keeping notes, Dragon Boy. But enough of that, Luna. Yes, Magic Emperor. The time has come for us to depart this little soiree. Be a deer and summon a coach. Yes, awaken Black Dragon. Isn't this amusing? You're the Dragon Master, and yet I seem to control the dragons. <laughs> All right, well, let's fight again. No, oh, Flammy, come back! If you still want Luna back, Dragon Boy, I've arranged a meeting at the Grindery. I'm confident we can work out some kind of final arrangement there. Though I find your demeanor quite endearing, I'm afraid you aren't really in a position to be commanding anyone at this juncture. I'm afraid you'll just have to come to us, Dragon Boy. See you at the frontier. <laughs> What's with all the skulls? Are those previous black dragons? Is there a black dragon hatchery here? Yes, Galleon is extremely fun to do the voice acting for. I will chew all the scenery, every chance I get to play him. Alright! We are now the Dragon Master! Man, but the healing ring, it regenerates me. 
but but the healing ring. I do, do I really want a dragon ring? I mean, I suppose you gotta complete the set, right? Oh, right. So, we got two things left to do. First... No, 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 no. We got one thing to do. Alright, I'm gonna show Dragon Grief, then I gotta get out of here. Work calls. Unfortunately. But! Dragon Grief. Okay, this is actually one of my favorite spells, but you can't use it too much. So, here's what it does. Everyone else, stand back. Back. You don't get XP, you don't get money. But they're gone! That's what it does. It is so great. Any encounter you don't want to deal with, gone. I don't think there's anything in the game. I don't remember anything in the game being capable of resisting dragon grief. Maybe there is. I just don't remember anything ever resisting it. It's just be gone. And it's cheap. It only costs 15 MP to just make any encounter disappear like that. You don't want to use it too much because you're not gaining XP, but... But it's fantastic. <laughs> this is the only game I know of where the instant death spell actually works consistently as an AoE. It's fantastic. All right, I gotta go. Uh, yeah, I, what made me save? Because I am going to work now, unfortunately. We will continue tomorrow. We're actually pretty much at the end of the game now. Pretty much. Oh man, wait till you hear the music of the grindery. It's unforgettable. I mean, this, the game soundtrack, man. <sighs> Until next time and every time, this is Hadrix signing off. Bye. I want to keep going, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs>